Hello everyone. <clears throat> now we will be discussing about 0-1 knapsack by using the technique of branch and bound. <clears throat> we, uh, previously we have discussed 0-1 knapsack by using dynamic programming and fractional knapsack by using greedy technique. So today we will be using the branch and bound technique to solve 0-1 knapsack. Hope you remember what is 0-1 knapsack problem. <clears throat> 0 1 abstract problem is like uh, a given a capacity of m uh, for a knapsack and a set of n items each with a weight w and a profit p determine a subset of items to include in a knapsack to earn maximum profit so that the total weight is less than or equal to the knapsack that means we have to fill the knapsack with the items so that we should get the maximum profit since it is a maximization problem, by using the technique of branch and bound, we have to find out the upper bound of each stages. So, uh, how to find the upper bound? There is a formula for calculating, out, calculating upper bound. Upper bound is equal to V plus M minus W into V I plus 1 by W I plus 1. That means if I want to find the uh, upper bound of the current state, we have to find out the ratio of weight by <coughs> value by uh, weight of the next item into m is the capacity of the knapsack w is the current weight and v is the current value current value in the sense total profit of or value of all the objects that is placed on the knapsack and w is the current weight of the knapsack that is the total weight of all objects placed into the knapsack <coughs> uh, check an example here the example is this uh, an item uh, knapsack problem is given Item, there are four items and there are four different weights and the values. So the first step what you have to do is you have to find the value by weight ratio. So each value by weight ratio that is 40 by 4, 10, 42 by 7, 6, 25 by 5, 5, 12 by 3, 4. Like that you have to write it. That is the first one you have to calculate as the value by weight. Then we will check what the initial state. Initial state means we have not added any items onto the knapsack. That means item i is equal to 0. That means I have not added any item. W will be what? W is the total weight of the knapsack. That is total weight of the object that is placed on the knapsack. Since, since uh, there is no object that is placed on the knapsack, W is equal to 0. V is equal to 0 means since no item is there in the knapsack, value of all the items that is added on the knapsack is 0. M minus W. What is the M? M is the capacity that is 10. So, 10 minus 0 is what? 10. V1 by W1. V i plus 1 by W i plus 1 only we have to calculate. Why I am writing all these things here is in order to put, in order to calculate upper bound, we need all these things. That is the V we need. That is 0. M minus uh, W we need to calculate M minus W. That is 10. Now, V i plus 1 by W i plus 1. Since i is equal to 0, what is V i plus 1? V1 by W1. V1 by W1 already we have calculated in the previous step. What is that? 10. So, 10 into 10 is what? 100. So, 100 is a uh, upper bound of the initial state. So, what you have to do is so you have to draw the state space tree. How to draw the state space tree? Like this. That means the initial condition. Weight is equal to 0. That means the total weight of the uh, object that is placed on the knapsack. Value that is uh, that we got from the knapsack after putting the items. by And this one also upper bound also is equal to 100. So, we have to draw the safety space tree node in that by using that current initial solution. Now, what I'll do is I'll take the, I'll take the first item and I'll, I have to put onto the knapsack, right? So, for that I have to calculate the upper bound. So, i is equal to 1. When i is equal to 1, two ways you will be calculating. That is with item 1, what is upper bound and without item 1, what is upper bound. Both you have to calculate. That means when I'm adding uh, the item onto the knapsack, what is the upper bound? And if I am not adding that item, what is the upper bound? Both the things I have to calculate. And see, with the item 1, with the item 1 means W is what? Current weight plus the weight, current weight plus the weight of the item 1. So, weight of the item 1 is 4. Current weight is of the knapsack means what? We have not added any item. So, 0 plus 4 is, uh, plus 4 is equal to what? 4. And so, here you got 4. V is equal to what? The weight of the item 1 plus the total weight of the knapsack after being adding all the elements. But, but since we are not adding any element, that will be 0. So, 40 plus 0 is equal to 40. Then M minus W. How to calculate M minus W? M is 10 minus W. Minus W is what? This one, 4. So, 10 minus 4 is equal to 6. We got. 
then v2 by w2 because v i plus 1 by w i plus 1 so i is 1 so v2 by w2 that we have calculated in the first step so we will get the upper bound as this now we have to check without item 1 without item 1 means i am not including the current item so w in the previous step values only will be taking care that is w is equal to 0 v is equal to 0 m minus w is equal to 10 so upper bound is equal to 0 plus 10 into v i plus 1 by w i plus 1 differs because v 2 by w 2 so into 6 so we will be getting here 40 so both that means the only step which differs here in the than the previous step is this value only because in the previous step we are calculating v 1 by w 1 here we have to calculate v 2 by w 2 understood right now so we got this value now we have to draw the state space tree how we will be drawing the state space tree we got the initial condition then with the item 1, what are the values? Without item 1, what are the values? Both the values have calculated. So, W is equal to 4, V is equal to 40, U B is equal to 76. W is equal to 0, V is equal to 0, U B is equal to 60. In this, we will check which value is having the highest value. Which ha ha value is having the highest value? 76. That means, we will be adding the item onto the knapsack. That means, item 1, we will add onto the knapsack. From here, only we will be uh, calculating the next so here again initial state item item 2 I am taking. Item 2 when I am taking I have to calculate both this with item 2 and without item 2. So with item 2 W current weight that is what 7 plus the total weight the, the, of the objects that is placed on that place, so 11. So 11 is greater than the total capacity right that means it is not possible. This it is now not a feasible solution in the sense we cannot add this item onto the knapsack. Why? The total I value will be 11, which is greater than m. m is what 10. So 11 is greater than it is not possible to add this. Now we will check without item one. That means previous value plus the current value uh, 0, 0 plus uh, the previous value and the previous one. Only this thing differs that is 5. So we will be calculating here. Since it is not a feasible solution, we will take 70 as a value here and we will be calculated right next we have to draw the state space tree for this so whenever we are so drawing the state space tree here with item 2 and without item 2 with item 2 the situation is not feasible the solution is not feasible so we will go for the without item 2 so here obviously this is having highest, ball, uh, highest value highest bound so we will be taking this one now we have to item i is equal to 3 In the same way you will be calculating both the values then draw the tree with item 1 without item 2 item 3 then again item 4 the here also you will get not feasible because this is 12 12 is greater than 10 so it's not possible now the last way last item when you put v5 by w5 the value is not there so upper bound will be set to 65 since this is the last item set ub is equal to v since this is the last item we are setting ub is equal to v what is ub is equal to v that is 65 only that means we are not moving forward we don't have that value weight. So, we have to draw the state space tree. Complete the state space tree. Then how we have to do is we have to find the optimal solution with the item. So, here only is the highest value you got. Move from here to the root. So, whenever you are moving from here to the root, we will be finding here. Without item 4. So, item 4 is not added. With item 3. Yes, item 3 is added. Then, without item 2. That is item 2 is not there. With item 1. So, which are the value with? with. So, item 1 and item 3. So, the possible solution is that means the element that will be put on the knapsack is what? 1 and 3. So, this is a way you have to find out the uh, knapsack problem by using branch and bond. Hope you understood the problem. So, this is another important question that will be asking from the module 5 using branch and bond. So, try to solve different problems. Hope you understood the problem. That's all for today. Thank you.